Hello everybody, it's Clarita here with Absolute Best coming to you from Costa Rica. I'm back in Costa Rica. Happy Easter and I hope all of you are having a wonderful day with your family and being respective of new beginnings because that's what this holiday represents. It represents the end of something and the beginning of something new, fresh, um, rejuvenated, reinvigorated, right? A resurrection, so to speak. So that's what today is all about. And what we're going to do today is we're going to resurrect our bodies, get that youthful glow going once again. I'm calling my sit and fit workout today, hot legs workout. Why? Because we're going to concentrate a lot on lower body. Yes, we're going to do a lot of core. Hey, Patricia. Yes, we're going to do a lot of leg work. I really want to help you guys define and contour your thighs, your calves, your hip area, your glutes. All of those exercises will help you realize a sleek physique, right? That's what we're going for. And you're going to feel so confident about yourself. That's why we're doing all these things to keep ourselves healthy so that we can raise our confidence levels, so that we can be the leaders that we want to be in life, the, the women that we want to be in life, leading our families, leading our communities, leading our businesses, right? We've got to all go out and make a living, gals. And guys, <laughs> you're welcome to go get hot legs too. Well, this workout does not uh, keep you guys out of it. All right, you are included. We are an inclusive group here at Sit and Fit. So without further ado, if you've never taken my classes before, get ready, you're gonna get a workout. I will always give you modifications so that you can do the best you can with what you got. I would say get a towel so that you can dab the sweat and then also don't forget water. So I have a glass of water down here and I will certainly drink plenty of it as we go through the class. I would advise you guys to keep yourselves hydrated. Um, if you have any injuries, always make sure you know what's happening. If you have knee injuries, back injuries, anything that's going to limit your range of motion, address it. Be aware of it. Do what you can and pull back if you need to. I will always give you modifications. But you got to keep your body in motion, otherwise we freeze up and nothing happens the way that it should. I'm going to get started, and as we go along, I'm going to explain to you exactly what it is that we're doing. So I'm going to put some music on here. And the first thing we're going to do, excuse me, as I put this down, I'll be right back. The first thing is for me to lower the music a little bit. And then what we're going to do is a warm-up. You always have to get your body acclimated to the workout you're going to do. Since today's workout is really going to concentrate on legs, I'm going to make sure that we have a really good warm-up for our legs. First and foremost, I need you to go get a sturdy chair. If you have a pillow that you can grab, that's going to be useful because we're going to do a lot of inner thighs and core stability stuff with a pillow. So go ahead and grab one if you can. If you guys have yoga blocks, those, those will help too. Um, but if you don't have anything, make sure that the chair that you are using is the sturdiest chair you have. I want you to sit tall and at the very edge of your chair. I want you to press your feet firmly into the ground. We're going to begin by just pulling ourselves into a nice straight posture. Belly button into your spine, shoulders down, chin should be level, parallel to the floor. Slight downward depression in your shoulders. At the same time, I want you to feel there's like you're planting yourself into the floor. The feet should feel, the soles of your feet should feel like roots are growing into the ground. Squeeze through your glutes, elevate up. Take a deep breath, reach both arms up, exhale. Keep applying pressure into the floor with those feet at all times. And again, inhale out, exhale out. 
Let's hold it up one more time. Stay there. This time you're just going to hold those arms up. Now, I don't want your arms up into your ears. I want your shoulders downward. You've got to depress them downward. And I want you to try and straighten your elbow as much as possible as you lift side to side. And this is not so much of a side to side waistband. It's not. It's a lift. You are trying to lift through your rib cage. Rib cage, rib cage. It's like somebody's taking a hook at the bottom rib and lifting it up. You go eight, seven, six, five. I love how you're liking this, you guys. I want to see your comments. I'm busy exercising right now, doing my sit and fit with you. As soon as I finish the session, I will answer all your comments and questions. Do not hesitate to ask away. And don't hesitate to comment. Let me know if you like this. If you don't like this, I'll bring workouts to you that'll really be beneficial. Inhale, arms up, depending on what you need, what you want. I'll go ahead and tailor the program according to your needs. Keep pushing those feet firmly into the ground. Inhale up, exhale out. Let's go side to side with a nice wide stance in your feet. Your feet are fairly wide apart. And what you're trying to do here is you're trying to transition your body, upper body over and across the lower body. It's like two plates moving across each other. Eight, seven, six, keep going. Four more. Keep it going again, two more sets. One more set, side to side, hold it here, arm overhead. Lean into one thigh, placing your elbow on that thigh so it's supported, and then take the other arm up overhead. Take a deep breath, inhale. You're making a nice long stretch through the side of your body. Change it to the other side. Now you are bending at the waist. Inhale, exhale. Can we go side to side tempo? So it'd be like this. You got it? Are you doing it with me? Or are you just sitting there watching your phone? <laughs> Whatever. You can always come back and do it with me later if you're not ready to do it right now. Inhale, exhale, eight, seven. I keep all of these exercise classes in my guides on my sit and fit group. So you can come back at any time and do these sessions. Eight more, seven. Six, keep it going. Five, four more. Three, two, one. Hold both arms up, inhale. Exhale, hands firmly on your thighs. I want you to flatten your back, bring your back into a flat position, extend your tailbone way behind you. Bring your body way down and then Push yourself up in a rounded position. Contract your belly button into your spine. It's like you're doing an abdominal exercise to come up. Flatten at the top. Keep flat down. Round to position yourself back up. Again, do a beginning posture of a lifted chest. Flattened in the back. Rounded through that lower spine. And preparation again. Let's go last time. Contract it. You got to. Feel those abdominal muscles working. Let's circle those shoulders. Make sure that those feet are firmly into the ground. I see you, Patricia. Good girl. <laughs> Again, inhale, exhale. Five, six. Now reverse it. Let's go again. One. Keep going. Again, four, five, six. Couple more. Seven. One more. Hold it, one arm up, place your fingertips on the side of your head and neck. The other hand grabs the side of the chair. You're gonna tilt your head to the side, stretch the neck, hold eight, seven. Inhale and exhale, make sure that the band around your waist feels like it's expanding and contracting. Let's change sides. And you're gonna once again, stretch through that neck. You're gonna stretch all the way down the side of your head and neck, inhaling and exhaling. You can grab hold of the chair for stability. Release it. Let's pin that chin right into our throat. Elbows come forward. 
You're going to tuck that chin and you're going to stretch through that cervical spine. You're still lifted. Belly buttons into your spine. You can even open your jaw into your throat and feel how it massages the back of your throat. Release, arms up. And you're gonna place the hands behind the chair, okay? Flex at your hands. So you wanna sit tall, you're gonna anchor yourself into that chair with your palms behind you. You're gonna pull your shoulder blades together and you're gonna lift the chin up. And you're supporting your head with your trapezius, the back part of your shoulders. Hold eight. Pinch those shoulder blades together. And now release it. Round your shoulders forward and round your back forward. You're gonna fold yourself over. Slide down your legs. Drop the head and neck way down and sit so that you're comfortably even on that chair. You can grab your ankles or if you have the flexibility to touch the floor with your fingertips. Awesome. Hands on the knees to come up and you gotta engage the core and you gotta push your feet into the floor like you're gonna stand up, but you don't. Inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale. All right, since I said this was a leg workout, that was a little warm up, we're gonna go right into warming up some more but using the legs. So, quads, work really hard to get you to stand up. And then the hips, the thighs, the belly button, your lower back help support you to come down. So we're gonna go straight up, arms overhead, and you gotta lock your kneecaps up into your thighs, and then you're gonna exhale. You can bring your hands down, and if you need to hold the chair to support you on the way down, that's great. If you can do it without having to hold the chair, that's even better. Here we go, eight, seven, squeeze six. You know what I'm doing? I'm squeezing my glutes as I come up. Squeeze my glutes. Again. Hold it, shake it out. We're gonna do two more sets like that. Get ready, get set, here we go, up and down. Eight, seven, six. Keep it going, four more. Everything stays tight the whole time you do it. Those thighs are tight. Good enough, shake it out. Take a deep breath, inhale. Exhale, we got to do one more set. Here we go, now, one, two. If you're tired, just stop and rest and do this. Four more if you can, one, two. Keep going, last one. Awesome, shake it out. Very good, so you've used your quads. Let's stretch them out a little bit. You can turn the chair so you've got one corner of the chair between your thighs. You can put one foot down on the ground, lean back, and stretch out your quad. That's a beginning stretch. Or you can pick up that knee, hook your toe on the side of the chair, and stretch the knee down. That's a little more advanced. Let's try the other side. So, if you're a beginner, you can just easily let that foot relax pointed downward, shoelaces to the floor. I hardly ever wear shoes because I like to feel the floor. And then you lean back, but you've got to fortify that strength. So your lower back is pretty lifted and straight. Your belly button's trying to touch your back. You're actually working your core here as you stretch through the front thigh. If you're flexible enough to pick up that knee, grab that ankle and put that foot on that chair and then just drop the knee down. Make sure you're holding on, holding on to the back of the chair so you don't fall off the chair. There's risk to everything that you do in life, you guys. You could fall off a chair. It could happen. Shake it out. You are taking a risk. Anytime you do something adventurous, let's cross one leg over the other. Twist your body. You're gonna take your palm behind you and you're gonna twist. So your chin lines up with your back shoulder. Inhale, exhale. Hold eight, seven, four more, three, and switch. Other side, you cross, and you do a spinal twist. One hand on the back of the chair, 
You're going to anchor yourself and then really twist your torso back. Inhale, exhale. Relax it. Shake it out. All right. More thighs. Inner thighs are going to stretch on this one. See how far you can widen your legs. If you cannot come so wide, you can bring your legs out this way. Come closer to the front end of the chair. And I want you to just to create dynamic tension through your thighs. Lifting your toes up and down. Give me eight. Arms up. Seven. Six, five. I'm sitting way back here. I'm pressing my heels up and down, working my calves. I'm putting pressure into the floor so my inner thighs are working. My quads are working a little bit because I'm giving myself a little bit of tension. It's hard. In this position, it's hard to tighten your thighs. But I still want you to try. Four more. Three and two and... That was actually more than four, but... Counting. Keep your feet firmly in the ground. Put your hands on the waist. Squeeze your glutes tight. It's hard in this position. Go up about a half inch. Hold it for eight, seven, six. Stay there. Five, four more. Squeeze your glutes tight and release down. Let go. Shake it out. So, side view, you guys. You're going to have your legs separated, okay? Feet firmly into the ground. Belly button into your spine. Hold your waist, press into that floor, rise up, squeeze tight, chest up, shoulders back, hold it, tense up those thighs, dynamic tension as you rise up a little bit more and drop a little bit, come in a little more, drop a little bit, a couple more, one more, and stay tight as you go down, and then finally when you're down, shake it out. Can we do one more like that? Dynamic tension of that tension contracting and extending, but still never completely letting go. Keeping those muscles taunt as you move. Soles of the feet firmly into the ground, belly button into your spine, chest up. Pick it up and hold it isometrically. You're still tense, but you're not moving. And lift and drop down. Let's go. Eight, seven, Six, four more. Tight, release. Tight, short range of motion. You're not doing a full range of motion here. And release it, shake it out. All right, not bad, you guys. Pull the knee up into your chest on one side, change it. Pull the knee up into your chest on the other side. Once again, stretch out that quad, leaning back if you need to or you can grab that toe and press down. What do you feel like you can do? Let's do it to the other side. Same thing here, you're gonna take the knee up, grab that foot, hold onto the chair so you balance, and stretch that quad. I'm gonna try and keep stretching those thighs for you after we contract them. All right, let's warm up a little bit through the back thigh by just doing a little bit of a stretch to begin with. You're going to flex one heel out in front. You're going to lift the arm up, and you can, you can take your free hand and support your weight on that thigh. Exhale with a flat back. You're going to reach for the toes. See if you can get those toes to flip up and pull back. The back of the knee straight. The thigh is straight. Your belly button is nice and pulled in, and your back is flat. Your chin is up. Your chest is high. Hold it. Breath in, breath out. Now you're going to just... Point your foot to the floor, round your body down. See if you can reach the floor and drop the head way in. Keep that knee straight. Hold it. Shh. Breathe in and out. Hand on the knee, slowly roll it up. Change sides. Free hand on the thigh, lift the arm up. Perch that body forward. You're hinging at the hip joint. You're reaching for that toe. Listen. I'm 64 going on 65 this year. I'm gonna be retiring this year, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna be expiring. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna do everything I can to keep this body in as good a shape as possible. Keep COVID away because I wanna make myself an undesirable host for COVID. Round down, <sighs> drop and hold, lock the back knee, hold eight, Pull that belly button into your spine. Hand on the knee, slow motion as you roll up. 
Shake it out. So that stretched out your hamstring a little bit. I need you guys to stand up again. We're going to do more leg work, okay? But it requires you to stand up on this one. And sit and fit is about not having to get down on the floor. <laughs> so we can do stand up stuff and we can do sit down stuff, but I'm, I'm not gonna make you get down on the floor. Not yet, the whole goal is to get you on the floor. All right, so. The chair is your bar. You're gonna do quads and you're gonna do a little bit for glutes as well. You're gonna do step back lunges, you're gonna alternate right and left. It goes like this. One foot behind you, and the foot that goes behind you is on the half toe. You bend the front knee, and I want that front knee to be as close to a 90 degree angle as you can get it. You should feel a good long stretch in your hip flexor in the front, and your glutes in the back should be really tight. And then you push off the back toe and press into the floor with the front leg to get you up. Change legs back, and again, try to create as much of a 90 degree angle as possible feeling a good long stretch in that hip joint as that back knee stays straight and your heel is off the ground and then you're going to bear down into the floor with that front foot and push off that back foot alternating 20 times. One, two, if you feel that you can let go of the chair when you come up, do this. Inhale, exhale. Can we do it again? Another set, eight, seven, six. Keep going, four more. Couple more. And now I want four extras, let's go. One, two, one more. Hold it up on the toes, balance. Let go of the chair if you can. Hold it, you gotta squeeze your glutes, you gotta pull your belly button into your spine. Your posture has to be aligned. If you lose your balance, hold the chair. Release, shake it out. Excellent work. Stretch out those quads, this time standing. Grab your foot, if you can't grab your foot, you can use your chair. So how do you do that? You take the chair, you take one knee, and you place it on the chair. And then you bring your foot to the edge of the chair and you just kind of hang that knee down. You can even bend the supporting leg and feel like you're trying to get your hip close to the heel. That's a good way of doing a beginning dancer pose. So if you can't grab hold of your foot like this, put it on the chair. You can bend the supporting knee, the other leg, and then lean your butt back towards that heel. And that stretches through that hip joint. It stretches through your quads. All right, so don't get too comfy. We're gonna do more quads. I'm gonna just put this back here. We're gonna do what I call leg extensions, what everybody calls leg extensions. It means you're gonna extend the legs out. But then, you're also gonna flex the legs in later. First things first, let's just see. jelly. Make them go through each phase of the extension. Include the metatarsals, the muscles going down off the top of your foot. Keep going. Hold it, both toes down. Turn the toes out. And as you do, the entire rotation of the leg happens to open up. Everything locked, squeeze your glutes tight, arms up, and then flex your feet and then turn them in. Bring your hands down. Point, 
bring them in. Take them out, bring them in. Go ahead and flex as we go out, point as we come in. Again, can we do it four more times? You've got to feel a full rotation in that hip joint. Good, hold it right here. Hold it, flex, heels together, and turn in and point your toes, get your knees to squeeze in. Extend the legs out, then turn out and flex your feet. So you're gonna go, heels together, go knock knee and pointed. Pigeon toed extended, flexed and turned out. Heels together like a ballerina. Rotate like a pigeon toed person. <laughs> turn it out and flex. Pull it in, pigeon toed. Pigeon toed, flex. In, pigeon toed. Flex, in, turn in. So this is internal and external rotation, right? So you're gonna come back in this way. You're gonna point out first, point out, hold it. Then you're gonna rotate inward. You're reversing the process. You're gonna bring it in, knees joined, and then you're gonna rotate out and flex. Rotate in and point. You're gonna point downward, squeeze those knees together. Turn out, flex those toes, extend out. Point inward, drop in. Flex out, point out and flex. Turn them in, drop it in. Flex it, turn it out. One more, point inward, come in pigeon toe. Turn it out, flex. Extend flex. Very good. Shake it out. Take your pillow. Sit on your pillow so you're a little bit elevated now. You've got a little bit of height now. You're going to extend those legs out. You're going to hold on back behind the chair. You're going to flex your feet and you're going to tighten the tendons in the back of the knees to keep the back thighs tight. You're going to flex in and you're going to point out. Are you ready? Everything tense. Squeeze your glutes. Belly button into your spine. Inhale and exhale. Again, lock tight through those thighs. Tense. Pretend somebody's trying to hold your leg and not let you come down. And as you go up, pretend that somebody's trying to hold your leg and not letting you go up. Create resistance on the up and on the down. Very good, keep it going. Eight more. Seven. And six, four more, three, last two right here. All right, we're gonna shake it out a little bit. Stand up, feet apart. You're gonna extend those hip flexors. Squeeze and throw your hips forward. Make sure that your back is supporting you. You're not sinking into your back, you're lifted. You're just throwing your hips forward. Stretch out, reach your fingertips towards your knees. Stretch forward, squeeze your glutes, tuck your chin and hold. And then lift out, that stretches out through the front of your thighs. We're gonna move into a little bit of a flutter, which is gonna increase your heart rate. So we get a little cardio going here. Sit back onto your pillow again. Make sure you're elevated off the ground on this one. You're gonna grab the back of the chair and you're gonna begin pointing your toes, fluttering your legs and you're gonna tie yourself down hard so that you can flutter the legs as fast as you can. Keep going. We're gonna do this for a long time. Again. Again, keep going. Flutter, flutter, flutter. Go faster. Another set of ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake it out. Standing up, feet apart, squeeze your glutes tight, lift and stretch out. Shake it out. 
Standing again, you guys. We're going to stretch out those hip flexors because being on a chair and doing exercises that tighten these hip flexors demands that you stretch them so that you don't start getting a body that looks like this because all of these muscles are short. You want to make sure you work your glutes and make sure your pelvis is in a neutral position, not tucked under like that. So, grab that toe, and you're gonna lift. You're gonna push that foot into your hand. If you can, you're gonna do a dancer pose. Now, do what you can. If you cannot do this exercise, and you can't grab that foot and hold and balance, don't worry, you'll get there one day. Again, do that one exercise that I showed you a while ago where you just put the foot on the chair and you can just, with a straight hip, kind of lean back. And that gives you the same stretch. You'll get to the point where you can do your dancer pose. Let's do the other leg now. Change sides and just feel how you're stretching the front of that thigh. Pressing that foot against that hand. And if you can lift, hold and balance. Very good. Relax it, shake it out. All right, while we're here, while we're standing, if you need to take a water break, do it now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some water myself. There we go. All right. I'm gonna do a little bit more for glutes. Since we've been doing so much to the front, let's counterbalance that and do a little bit for the back. So, easy stuff. You use your chair, the back of your chair is your bar. You're gonna point one toe behind you Squeeze your glutes tight, and you're gonna lift this leg behind you, up and down. Keep it going, it doesn't go high, but you do feel your glutes tightening. Keep it going again. Lock that knee behind you, last set of eight, right here. One, two, three, four more. Five, six, seven, eight, shake it out. You can alternate legs, right and left. You're gonna do the other leg. Point your other foot back behind you. Squeeze tight. Make sure your posture is lifted nice and tall. Here we go. Lock both knees when you do this. Again. Think tall. I'm pushing into the chair. Lifting the chest. Elegance, right? You have to lift the chest to feel elegant, confident. Last set, eight. Four more. Nicely done. Alternate right and left. Okay, so you see how when you were tightening here, your back muscles got a little tight? That's why I'm having you stretch to the front. So you open up and you stretch the glutes and that lumbar area, lower back. Let's do flat back right here. So what you can do is you can take your seat, put, out, put it out in front of you, big straddle with your legs, and you're gonna use your chair to help you do a child's pose standing. So my arms are stretching out. I'm trying to drop my head between my arms and I'm wiggling my hips a little bit side to side. Hold. This is like a child's pose, but you're standing. Bend the knees. Walk your heels and toes in. Migrate yourself back to the center. Once again, squeeze your hips forward. Stretch through those hip flexors. Chest up, arms up, mountain pose. Hold eight. Shake it out. Elevate up on the toes and still hold on to the chair. Let's just work calves. Calves are part of your legs, right? Not only do you have thighs, but you have lower legs. You have calves. You want to have shapely lower legs too. Eight, seven. Squeeze your glutes tight. Last eight right here. Eight more counts. 
Locking the knees, squeezing your glutes. Very good, shake it out. Now we're gonna stretch out through the calf. You're gonna take your foot behind you, but this time you're gonna keep your heel on the floor. Hold it eight and stretch through the front. Let's do warrior pose here. Arms up overhead, warrior one. Hold it back. I'm gonna go deeper into my front leg, you guys. Hold eight. Good, and then open it out and change legs. Start with just a stretch through the heel. Easy stuff, the back heel drives down to the floor. I'm gonna put my legs way out in front Slight turn out with my back heel. Take both arms up, and then I'm gonna arch back, warrior one. Arms out, push it up, shake it out. Let's get back on that chair. And we're working on our postures with the chair. This is gonna help us position our hips in the proper place. So when we do warrior, you want one knee moving forward on the chair. Again, you could place the corner of the chair between your legs, the back leg on the floor, and it would be helpful if you put the flat of the foot on the floor, okay? That's just gonna open you up a little bit more through your hip. Hold eight, and take back the arms, and feel that warrior posture on the chair. Hold it. This is gonna teach you how to do it in the standing posture. Hands down to prayer, and we're gonna to rotate to the other side. You're gonna put the point of the chair between your thighs. Once again, one knee over the chair. I want you to go ahead and just keep your back foot on the ground. Open up through that hip. Arms up overhead. And see if you can take them back behind your ears. Take a deep breath, lift that chest, hold it, eight, Back knee stays straight, you're squeezing through your glutes. Hands to prayer, nicely done. Bring it in, shake it out. Excellent, I told you you were gonna need your pillow for inner thighs, we're gonna go there now. So, grab your pillow again. Put the pillow between your thighs. Up on the tippy toes. Want you to squeeze your inner thighs as tight as you can and press your palms right in front of your chest as tight as you can. Isometrically contract, lean back a little bit. <sighs> squeeze those inner thighs and hold for 20 seconds. Very tight, you can even do a little bit of a contraction. Okay, you can be rounded a little bit. I'm trying to give you a side view. You can be a little rounded here. Abdominals are tight, inner thighs are tight. You're Elbows are flared out and your palms are pushing in towards each other. And you're gonna hold for 20 seconds in a rounded position. Inner thighs are tight, squeezing everything. And then release the hips, release the heels. Take the arms up nice and straight. Everything flat, lift up and hold. And do it again, contract, squeeze. I want everything pulling inward to your center. Hold it 20 seconds. Squeeze those cheeks, squeeze that belly. Keep that chin rounded. Palms pressing together. You gotta work your abdominals on this one. Your inner thighs are bringing that strength into the center. And you're gonna ease into a nice elongated, stretched out spine and your heels into the ground. You can ease off on the inner thighs, but don't let the pillow fall. <laughs> and one more time. Tight, squeeze, contract. Inhale, exhale, come on. This is all abdominals. Inner thighs are included in this. You gotta pull everything straight from the pelvic area, your PC muscle, everything inside, your transverse muscles, your rectus abdominals, everything. Tight, tight, tight. Hold, inner thighs as tight as can be. And then inhale, exhale. Good work, you guys, shake it out. All right, we're gonna stretch out that inner thigh. Take that leg out to the 45 degree angle. It's not straight back behind you, it's slightly outward. And you're gonna pull up and stretch and hold eight. 
and release it and do a reverse warrior. You're going to come toward that knee and you're going to look under that arm and hold eight. Lock the back knee, stretch. Good. Change it to the other side. You're going to bend one knee in. Once again, I want you to kind of pitch the corner of the chair between your legs. The back foot is out at a slight angle, about 45 degrees. Try and get a stretch in the inner thigh. It's not a big, intense stretch. Just a very minor, tiny, weeny, weeny, little, teensy, weensy stretch. But you're going to learn how to do warrior. This is reverse warrior. Hold eight. Keep, the more you keep bending, the more you're going to stretch out through that inner thigh. And release it. It's not a bad stretch. It's quite an easy stretch. Shake it out. Okay, we're going to stretch more for the inner thigh. This time I need you to stand up. And you're going to need to use chair for this one. You're going to hold on to the chair. You're going to put your foot on the chair. And I'm going to throw away that pillow. And you need to be able to bend the supporting knee. Make sure that you're holding that chair and you dip into the stretch so you get a stretch through the inner thigh. If you can't go that deep, just kind of bend a little bit and feel the knee turn in towards the camera. If you can go deep, go ahead. Change it to the other side. Sturdy chair, sturdy chair. Don't do anything that you don't feel confident in doing. Leg up on the chair. If you can only bend a little bit and stretch like this, beautiful. That's all you need to do. If you have the strength in your supporting leg to get you way down and dip and stretch way down low, beautiful. You don't have to do it. You can be up here and you still get a stretch through that inner thigh. As long as you're pushing your booty back. You gotta push back with your booty and shake it out. Very good. That's an inner thigh stretch. All right. Let's get you to do a little bit of a hip rotation. You're gonna grab one foot like you're gonna cradle your whole leg like a little baby in, in your arms, okay? You're gonna grab that foot, bring it in towards your thigh, and your palm goes underneath that pinky. Your palm goes down on that thigh, and you're gonna rotate your chin over your shoulder, hold eight. And you're gonna change it up, you're gonna do the other side. So again, you grab that foot and you kind of take that leg, cradle it like it's a little baby. Take your foot in as close as you can to the top of your thigh. Push that knee down by pressing that elbow locked and tight. The other palm goes underneath the pinky and then you're gonna look back behind you. Look away from your knee, hold eight. You're gonna kind of push that toe up and push that knee down, kind of do that. and release it, shake it out. I promised you legs, you're gonna get legs. Oh boy, that wind is blowing papers off my desk, hold on. I'm gonna get right back to you, I'm with you. We've had really, really bad winds here. A Couple days ago, a whole tree fell down. Luckily, it fell out away from the house and not on the house. All right, so I did say legs, right? So we gotta do a few more things for legs. So let's work a little bit more on that front thigh. Position yourself once again, like if you were gonna do warrior one, but this time, what we're gonna do is warrior two. So you're gonna go one foot front, one foot back. Remember, I told you to put the corner of the chair between your two thighs, do that. And remember, I want the back foot firmly into the ground too. What I want you to do is apply force into the floor. That's how your legs are gonna get energized. Push those feet firmly into the ground. That chair is there to help you, to give you a sense of confidence and balance. You're gonna take the arms out to the side, and this is warrior two. It's a strong posture. People, you have to feel like you are grounded. There's roots growing out of your feet. Your thighs are tight. Your glutes are tight. Your belly buttons into your spine. Your shoulders are down. Power, power, power. Chin points over that shoulder and the focus of your eyes needs to be down that through line, through that middle finger and out. Hold eight. I need energy into those feet, legs, 
and then elbow bends overhead. And immediately, arms straight up to the ceiling and look back behind you. Hold eight. Back to warrior two, hold eight. Good. Back to that reverse warrior that we already did earlier. Take it further. Get that middle finger to go down towards that ankle bone. Beyond the back of the knee. Hold it. Back to warrior two, hold it. Chin right down the middle of that finger. Eyesight just goes beyond that focus. And release it. You should feel tension in that front thigh, tension in that back foot and that whole back leg when you do that exercise, okay? You're not, you're not taking weight into the chair. The chair is there for security and for balance. I want you to pretend that that chair does not have to be there and you do not need it and you can do your posture just as well without that chair, okay? That's where we're going with this. For now, the chair is a good thing because it really teaches you good form. Inhale, exhale. Are you squeezing your glutes? Is that back knee straight? Is that back foot on the floor? How about that front leg? Are you really plying it down into the ground? Inhale, exhale. Squeeze those thighs. Belly button into your spine, one arm up overhead. The other one anchors you to the thigh and peek under that arm. Open that arm up and twist that torso like a triangle. Hold eight. Take the arm down, back and reverse, warrior. Down the back of that knee. Hold eight. Again, one day you will not need that chair and you'll be here. Back to your warrior two, hold it, eight. But if you have the chair, that's fine. Slowly release and bring it in. Shake it out. Woo! All right, so we're gonna stretch the quads again. You can stand up, hold the back of the chair, grab and stretch. If you cannot do that, Sit on the chair, sit back, lean and stretch. Other leg, if you're on the chair, this is all we do. If you're standing, stretch, okay? Everybody relax. All right, we're gonna do a little bit more for the back thigh. We're gonna anchor ourselves on the chair for this. So, you're gonna turn over, one leg goes over the side. The other foot just drops down behind you. This is a very short range of motion. You're gonna do like a bicep curl in your arms, like this, very short range of motion, but it's gonna come from your legs. Remember, hot legs work out today. So you're gonna grab onto the chair, hold onto the chair however you need to, okay? So you don't pop off of it. Curl that leg up, drop it down. Up, again. If you want, you can even put one hand behind you. Again. You're gonna lift it again. Four more. This is not a big range of motion, but it's hard to do. And last set of four. One, two, three, one more. Good, we're gonna turn around, do it the other way. Again, that point of the chair is between your thighs. One foot rests on that ground, you're anchored. You can even hold one hand back behind you to support you and anchor you. You're gonna curl that foot off the ground. This one's much harder for me because this knee is much weaker than my other knee. And when I had my ACL surgery, they used my hamstrings to make my new tendons. They took the tendons from my hamstrings to make my new ACL. So I don't have a lot of strength in this side. Four more. One, but I still try and do this. Two more. One more. That's work for me. Shake it out. Okay, so that's a very short range of motion. We're gonna stand up and do the same thing again, but with a bigger range of motion. So you can use the back of your chair for this one. 
So again, if you have that pillow, go ahead and grab it. Hang on. I just needed to check the time because we're almost done here. Lots of leg work today, you guys. That's what it was all about, right? Leg work. All right, so you're gonna squeeze that pillow between your knees and you're gonna flex your foot this time and you're gonna extend down, up, squeeze your glutes tight. Now you're gonna get a fuller range of motion because you're gonna be able to fully extend the knee and then kick the heel towards your glutes and you're squeezing your inner thighs together. Pelvis is neutral, chest is up, posture of course. Last four, one, two, three. And then let's switch sides, other leg, okay? So now you're just gonna do the other leg. Flex your foot, here we go. And, up, and, two, squeeze it. Try to get the heel up. You'll notice I can't, I can't flex this heel up as high as I did my other one. That's because of my ACL surgery, and it was years ago. So we all have our limitations, and we have to work around them, work with them, okay? Not let them hinder us, but be aware of them, be aware of our weaknesses, and then work around it with our strengths. Four more, here we go. Up. And again, one more. Very good, you guys. We're gonna stretch our hamstrings again. Let's go ahead and use that chair once more. You're gonna flex your foot and you're gonna walk down and drop the head and neck towards that knee. If you can't go that far, just go wherever you can. Try to keep the legs straight, the knee straight, your foot flexed. Hold it and you can roll all the way down and then pull. And then slowly round it up, other side. Extend, walk down and hold. And relax it. Very good, you guys. Have a seat. So, you did it, huh? Let's take a moment. If you've been following me, or even if you haven't followed me, check out those guides. There's plenty of workouts that you can do there. One of the first things that I try and teach my students is that you must have awareness of your body, and you must know how to breathe. And one of my first guides is teaching you breath. I like to meditate. It's part of my ritual that I do every day. Even if it's only two, three minutes, even if I just walk around through the day and I conscientiously say, I'm meditating, I'm breathing, I'm aware of my surroundings, my relationships, what I'm saying, what I'm doing, I am in full awareness, I'm being mindful. The other thing that I like to do is I like to journal and express myself through my writing. And I find that self-investigation is gonna produce the best version of me. So I recommend it. Palms up, shoulders down. Feel like there's a conduit coming through the top of your head, down through the groin, in past your knees, down into the floor, like energy is moving into the ground like you're part of the earth and you're a tree and there's roots growing into the ground and your torso and your core is the trunk and the top of your head, your arms, everything above is your branches. Inhale, exhale. Take the deepest breath that you can without tensing, just being aware of your body. Feel energy moving through the soles of the feet into the floor and exhale. With each breath, make sure you complete the full inhalation and the full exhalation. Did you do a complete breath? Check it out. Do it again. Your eyes closed. I challenge you to really be aware of your inhalation and exhalation. Did you really push all the air out of your body till there is a complete vacuum? See if you 
complete the breath on the inhalation and you completed the breath on the exhalation. One more, last time. Very slowly begin to wiggle your fingertips and circle your wrists. Take the arms overhead, inhale. Exhale to your heart space. Spiritual eye. Namaste. And thank you so much. <laughs> Alonso, como estas? Patricia, cool. Cool runnings. And I'll see you guys next time, all right? I'll send out a message whenever it is that I'm doing another class. Until then, be your absolute best.